Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great destination trailer value from Parkway RV Center. Boy, we're going to look at a big one today. 2009 Palomino Puma by Forest River 39 PT DBSS. I think I got that right. But anyway, folks, this is a 42 foot triple slide destination camper. So if you're looking for one to live in, this is a perfect choice right here, folks. Or just use it for a big travel trailer if you want to put it up on some lake or mountain property or beach property. This is a nice, nice family style uh, destination trailer. Of course, this unit's a destination trailer. It's not a park model. Destination trailers are designed to be towed without having to use a semi and have a uh, and have to get permits because real park models are 16 foot wide. This is eight and a half, just like any other travel trailer. It's got its own built-in heating and air. It's got its own plumbing, its own tanks. Where a park model, you have to buy a three-ton unit or two-ton unit and add to it. You have to plumb it in for power. This is designed to be used as a live-in or a travel trailer. 42 feet long, three slides. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath floor plan. Uh, of course, Forest River builds this, the largest manufacturer of RVs in the world. Uh, they're owned by Brookshire Hathaway, or as many of you will probably recognize their CEO, uh, Warren Buffett. Got the sliding glass door, which would be perfect for a deck. You know, if you want to leave this set it up somewhere permanent, you can underpin these for installation. They are well insulated. They're more designed for everyday use than a regular travel trailer, folks. Little heavier built, little heavier insulated. All three slides look great. You know, these things have been just about impossible to find for really the last year, but especially in the last few months. For those of you who follow my videos, you know, it's, I did one earlier today, and I'm doing this one right now. And this is the first destination trailer we've had in many months. And we've gone, and you've probably seen hundreds of videos I've shot in the meantime of motorhomes and fifth wheels. These destination trailers are truly very, very hard to find. I've got a lot of people I'm going to be calling on these, but I'm going to go ahead and post them online for all of you too to look at because there is a very, very high demand, especially in this price range, folks. This is a 2009 model. It's almost $50,000 new. This comes with a 90-day warranty and up to 138-point inspection by our certified RV techs. Three slides, two bathrooms, two bedrooms, under twenty thousand dollars, and that's not nineteen nine plus seven or eight thousand dollars in fees like everybody else charges. That's nineteen nine out the door plus tax. You can see the striping and finish looks great. This is just how it came in. We haven't washed it, cleaned it, but rest assured, after my RV techs do their inspection on it, it will be cleaned up inside and out. Got an outside shower. It's got all your holding tanks, so you can use it anywhere. Forty-two feet long, folks. You know, this is a big boy right here. Ten-gallon water heater. It's got a third entry door here on the other side that comes out of the rear bathroom, and I'll show you the reason for that here in a minute. The back's not beat up. You can, this thing hasn't been towed much, folks. People buy these things to leave them somewhere and to use them occasionally or live in them. And uh, this one right here is, you know, you don't hardly ever see many of these destination trailers that have been moved very much. But this unit doesn't have any signs of being lived in. You know, you can tell a live-in unit pretty quickly, especially one that's seven years old because it's going to have a lot of wear on it. But this one right here, folks, they probably use this for, like I said, mountain property, lake property, something to go to on the weekends. Because everything in this is in really nice shape and you're going to love the layout. So you've got three entry doors. One on each side, just a regular door. And then, of course, your main door is going to be your sliding glass door. And like I said, this would be perfect for a um, deck. Let's take a look inside. Now, folks, as we step inside here, I apologize, it's a little dark, but... Well, we've got our destination trailers parked at. I don't really, I can run power over here, but it would take a lot of extension cords. So I didn't, I didn't really mess with it just to film a video. But rest assured, folks, if you buy this destination trailer, 
We'll go through it and make sure everything on that inspection sheet passes with flying colors, even if we have to spend several thousand dollars on repairs to make it pass it, folks. We're not scared to spend money to make our RVs as nice as they can be. Really nice open floor plan. No smoke or pet odors. And like I said, folks, you can uh, that 138-point inspection pretty much covers everything you can think of on a towable camper. Uh, and you can always request a copy of it before you buy this unit on eBay or any of the other 20 plus websites I use. In the center garage bay, you've got surround sound speakers, a CD player. You know, we can install a TV if you don't want to put your own in here or if you don't, if you're like me, you don't really watch TV anyway when you're camping. You may not even want it, but if you want a TV, we'll be happy to install it. You just pay whatever it costs us to put it in and the cost of the mount. Uh, you've got a pull-out sleeper sofa. Then you got a large U-shaped dinette. This is going to make a bigger bed than your standard dinette. And so you can sleep four people in here. We're going to walk toward the front now where the master bedroom and master bathroom's at. And as we step into here, folks, that's actually a King Island bed instead of a queen. You get this huge closet across the front. Should be more than enough for all your storage needs. And I know you really can't tell, but it does have a pretty high roof in here too. So this is something you can spend some time in on a rainy day and not get cabin fever. You probably got at least three and a half feet, four feet between the foot of the bed and the chest of drawers. And you've got plenty of drawer space here. Again, you got your own entry door from the outside just for the bedroom. You've got a solid sliding privacy door. A really nice master bathroom. Again, more storage, which is pretty impressive. Uh, toilet, lavatory area, glassed-in shower. And we haven't cleaned this yet, folks, so you can overlook that. Skylight looks great. It's got that really nice, um, I guess you would call this faux marble, but it's plastic, but it looks like marble. And let me tell you how you can tell this one hasn't been used very much. Look at the sticker. If this had been a live-in, of course, that sticker would have been long, long, long gone. But somebody hasn't obviously taken very many showers in here. Skylight looks great, so that means chances are they've serviced the roof. Because if not, this age of an RV, you probably would see some water damage around the uh, skylight if they haven't kept it sealed. And of course, folks, we always check the roofs as part of our 100 up to 138 point inspection make sure there's no issues up there if it looks like it needs to be serviced we'll service it for you that's just part of the service uh god the storage in here to me is unreal you got all these overhead storage you got the nice light fixtures you got a ceiling fan microwave now folks we uh we're going to put a trim kit in here for this microwave so it's going to look better i've got a actual real Stove top and oven, four burner stove top. You've actually got a real electric refrigerator. Now folks, let me tell you something. A lot of these manufacturers are going away from the two way RV refrigerators, especially in these big ones because, and a lot of people don't realize this, but that two way RV refrigerator you see in the majority of RVs aren't designed for everyday use. They'll only last a few years if you use them every day, if even that much. So if you're going to use one every day, like living in one, you always uh, go with the electric fridge. They hold more food, they last longer, they're cheaper to run, and they give you a lot less trouble than the RV fridge, which is only designed for occasional use. This thing here, you can leave it on every day for years, and it's going to last you a long time. Uh, here you've got the double basin sink, plenty of storage. All this carpet, linoleum's original, and if this thing was a live-in unit, this would be completely worn out, folks but it's not it's very very nice condition uh it's got a ducted roof air 15,000 btu which is more than enough to cool this area down you've got a rear bedroom that's completely private you've got a sliding door you've got a double bunk on the bottom single bunk on top so you can sleep two up front with the king bed you can sleep four in here and three in here. So, folks, that's nine people you can sleep in this camper. You've got a place here for another TV. You've got storage here. Open this up, and here is your second bathroom, or half bath, what some people call it, but technically it's a two-bathroom. It just has one shower. But you've got the RV toilet. You've got the lavatory area. 
And this table and this door is not to holler at your neighbors when you're on the toilet for toilet paper. It's not designed for that, even though it would be kind of funny. But what that t toilet and this door is designed to do is when you have kids, which everybody knows kids use the bathroom a lot, and if they're outside running around getting mud on their feet, you don't want them coming in the front door and tromping all the way to the back or the front to use the bathroom. This way they can go straight in the door, sit down on the commode in one step, and go right back out. So that's why they put a door in the bathroom. Of course, you know, you can always, if you get lonely, I guess you could talk to your neighbor while you're sitting on the toilet, but you might get kicked out of the park. But, you know, you never know. <laughs> but anyway, folks, uh, this unit is a big camper. It's 19.9, we'll trade with the warranty and the inspection included. Uh, like I said earlier, folks, you know, Parkway RV Center does not charge any extra fees. You know, these other dealers may advertise something for 19.9, but I promise you, by the time you get the out the door price, it'll be several thousand dollars more than what they advertised it before you even add tax. Uh, like they'll charge freight fees and dock fees and tag fees and title fees and processing fees, uh, inspection fees. They, they charge so many fees, folks, it's crazy. But no matter what they call it, they're all rip-off fees. They're all 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new camper, fifth wheel, or motor home. So don't fall victim to them. If you call on any other uh, camper or fifth wheel or motor home besides one at Parkway RV Center, always get the out the door price because that truly tells you what you're paying for it now um you know if you're going you know if you go by their advertised price that that might cost you several thousand dollars when they spring those extra fees on you another way folks we save you money is our financing department you know we are not like other dealers obviously from our prices you can tell that because our prices blow the competition away and that's why we've been in business for 48 years and why we sell 500 plus used rvs a year but our financing folks is just as impressive and save you just as much money as our prices because unlike other rv dealers we do not mark interest rates up other rv dealerships sometimes double or more the interest rates you got approved for that's why you hardly ever hear of anybody getting an RV with a, under a 5 or 6% interest rate, even with 800 plus credit scores. Folks, let me tell you a secret. And you'll notice too, I'm probably the only dealer you're going to find that's going to actually disclose their interest rates, where they start at in all their advertising. If you've got excellent credit and it qualifies, we have financing with rates as low as 3%. And that's no bull, folks. I get, I, you know, obviously everybody doesn't get 3% because if you've got some issues on your credit, your score is not high enough, or your income or debt to income ratio is off a little bit, you're not going to get it. But I actually get several RVs, uh, several buyers done a week at 3% interest rate. And you can't beat that anywhere, folks. Even if you're a cash buyer, if you've got good credit and you're a cash buyer, huh. I don't know about you, but I'd rather pay a few hundred dollars in interest and keep my 20 grand cash and use it for something else that I can make money with. But folks, this is just a, an option. Our financing's great. We don't have any extra fees. We save you additional money too because we don't have commissioned salespeople. So you don't have all the games and gimmicks, the stress, the high pressure sales tactics like you do with a lot that has commissioned salespeople. And the reason why we don't have commission salespeople is simple because it keeps our prices down. We have salary-based salespeople. They get paid the same every week. It doesn't matter to them as far as their check's concerned if you buy a camper from us or go somewhere else. But what the difference is, is it saves you money because other RV dealers, most of them, as a matter of fact, use commission salespeople because they can keep a large sales staff. You know, we've got several acres of RVs. we got about 160, 170 used RVs in our lot. So if we use commissioned salespeople, we'd have 35, 40 salespeople. And it allows those salespeople, to keep, uh, the dealer, to keep a large sales staff on hand and not have to pay them by the hour or pay them salary. They only get paid when they produce a sale, which for a lot of them may only be once a month. And the reason why they can keep so many salespeople there is because when they do make a sale, they get a promise of a big reward. Uh, what it is, the average commission rate of a commissioned RV salesperson, industry average, 25% of the gross profit. So what does that mean to you? Is that when you buy an RV from one of these dealerships, they have to mark their prices up an additional 25% to cover the salesperson's commission. 
They're not paying their salespeople. You are by paying thousands more for the same camper you can buy here for thousands less, plus not pay those fees that they're going to charge you, plus not get ripped off on financing. I think you're starting to see why we're still one of the biggest and oldest independently owned family ran RV dealerships in the country, folks, for the last 48 years. Because we do things completely different. You know, we, we don't have to get rich on everybody that comes in and buys a camper from us. Other dealers' mentality, and I've actually talked to other dealerships about this, or sales managers and general managers and owners, and this is, seems to be the general consensus among other RV dealers. They would rather sell a few and make a lot than sell a lot and make a little. Folks, when we got started in 1968, my grandfather had a saying, and it's just the way we've always operated since then. You make your dollars with 10 dimes, your dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. And what he meant by that is, you, if you make just a little bit instead of making a lot, you're going to beat everybody's price and you're going to sell more. Sure, we have to work harder because we've got to sell 10 units to make what other dealers make on four, but our customers like it because they get the best buy on the internet and you can compare my prices to anybody folks i'll blow them out of the water especially when you consider mine includes a warranty and it's out the door not plus fees so be feel free to get online and compare other uh 2009 puma 39 t p b d s s dang i'm getting pretty good at this memory thing <laughs> but if you get online and compare our prices to everybody else, you're going to see there's no comparison. Not with a, and they're not going to give you a warranty. They're not going to give you that inspection without charging you several thousand dollars extra for it. Uh, so, folks, keep that in mind. We've been in business a long time. We're going to be here a long time. We're going to be the place, if you buy one from us, we're going to be the place you send your grandkids to 30, 40 years from now to buy an RV because we're still going to be around. And that's how we make our living, folks, is off repeat business. And everybody gets such a good deal that they come back to buy from us when they're ready to upgrade. And they get such a good deal that they send their friends and families to us. And I can't tell you that's probably 60% of our business is, is repeat and referrals. And we sell all over the United States. I don't care how far away you live. We've sold somebody in your area an RV before somewhere in the past. And just in the last 10 years that I personally have been keeping up with the states that we've sold to, and I've been here 20 years, but that's the last 10 years I've started writing down every different state. We've actually sold all 50 states, folks, and I'm including multiple sales to Alaska, and believe it or not, multiple sales to Hawaii. We've actually sold three RVs to Hawaii buyers, and they we actually shipped them to L.A. or a couple of other cities on the West Coast, and they shipped them overseas to them. We've actually sent over 2,000 RVs all over Canada. And with the way the Canadian dollar is stacked against the American dollar, that's a pretty impressive feat with the conversion rate. And we've also sent over 30 RVs, campers, and fifth wheels overseas to England, Italy, Australia, the Netherlands, and other countries. And these folks didn't come thousands of miles away just because they like the way we operate our business. They came that far away because we saved them a ton of money, just like we can save you. If you're in the market for a used destination trailers, I've actually got four or five of them, and I just posted one today in this one, and I'm going to try to post the other ones tomorrow or Monday. So if you're in the market for a used destination trailer, especially under $20,000, nobody else has them, but we do. Because what we sell for $19,900, you're going to pay close to $30,000 for at other RV dealerships. So that's why our prices are so low. And folks, keep in mind, everything's out the door. It's all inclusive. If you live in Georgia, of course, you'll pay sales tax. If you live out of state, like most of our customers do, you'll pay your sales tax when you title the camper at your local DMV office. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com or .net, and they're both mobile-friendly. You can email us. You can call us. 
Even if you don't see what you're looking for online, folks, I got a lot of units out here that are not posted online. Give us a call anyway. Get to know our non-commissioned salespeople. They all work together. Everybody's a team because nobody makes commission. Makes it a lot less stressful, and that's the way our buyers prefer it, too. And tell, get to know them. Let them get to know you, what you're looking for, and they're more than happy to look on the lot, send you some pictures, and sell you the unit if we have it before it gets posted online and you won't believe how much lower our price is than any other dealership in the nation for the same year making model camper and plus we offer and we give you a free warranty on qualifying units so folks it just doesn't get any better than that give us a call drop us an email check out this 2009 palomino puma 39 pt db ss while it lasts thank you for watching